Hey, Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for May 13th to 20th. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive into your reading and see what's going on for you. We've got the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups. We have the Tower, the Ace of Swords. Okay, I'm really digging this here. Um, the King of Wands. Wow. The Seven of Pentacles. Okay, first, who the heck are all these people? The Wheel of Fortune. There's a lot of people in this dynamic here. And there's three threes a crowd so if you know who i'm talking about um you're gonna know what's going on here i do feel though that for whatever reason you're showing up as the king of wands like when i'm looking at this reading and i'm saying who is scorpio it's the king of wands not the queen of swords or the queen of cups okay yeah aries energy here mars mars energy right you're you're co-ruled by mars in traditional astrology with aries um i think you're shutting something down i think you're shutting down a rumor a conversation a discussion a disagreement maybe an argument maybe a um, dynamic duo of two people who are talking a lot of SHIT about you. And um, you're coming in like the wrecking ball that you are. A sight's unseen. They don't know you're coming. They don't even sniff you coming. And there you are coming around the corner going, hell no, you ain't going to talk crap about me. Right? Like that's the vibe I'm picking up on here with this Aries energy, very much warrior energy, courage. I'm feeling, I'm feeling fire. I'm feeling vitality. Trust the wave that you came on here. When I see this card, I always get this vibe like you'll know in the right time. Did we not have this conversation not too long ago? Like you'll know the right time. You know when to strike, right? Like you know when the iron's hot. You know when it's time to go and sting, sting, sting with your stinger, okay? With perseverance here, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to do. I think with this, it's really important for you to understand that as long as you keep it with integrity, morals, values, and ethics, okay? As long as you hold honesty at the forefront of this situation that has been plaguing you, you will be victorious. Remember, the, the Ace of Swords is clear cut, right? It's about getting clarity. It's about cutting through the BS. It's about seeing things clearly. It's also about like putting things on a list, right? The sword has two sides, pros and cons. It's a double-edged sword, right? You got to look at things from a very objective way this week as you are navigating and dealing with this, uh, I'm going to call them the dynamic duel for, for lack of a better term here. I think it's like freaking frack. I don't know. Or it could just be one person who has two faces. It could just be an individual who like one day is cold and one day is crying. One day is mean and one day is crying. Like, like, egotistical like this is like a little bit narcissistic right like you know those people who are like i'm the victim oh woe is me meanwhile they're the ones stirring the pot they're the one creating the chaos with this tower card here something's gonna come down for this person you know it's been a it's been a long time coming for this person the fact that you've got the seven of pentacles and the and the wheel of fortune showing up at the end of your reading of course what reading would be in what reading would be complete if you weren't just like i'm here Hello, hi, it's me, Death. <laughs> okay, so with this Seven of Pentacles on this Wheel of Fortune, again, you'll know when the time, is. you have patience. Be patient with the situation. Let it unfold. Let the truth come out. Let everything surface. You'll know when the time is right. To... <laughs> okay, you know, this reminds me of this time in my life where I was dealing with somebody with, the, let's just call it an adversary, and this individual was really trying to do a number in my life, you know, but no weapon formed, formed against me shall ever prosper, right? And so what happened was I kept getting the hanged man when I was doing tarot readings for the situation. And I kept receiving that message as chill, Charlene, chill, wait, just wait. Just give it a minute. Just give it a minute. You know, there's uh, things are still needing to be revealed here. Still, things are still needing to be, need to unfold. And so, you know, Aries, Charlene, right? Wanting to like go, 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 right? Which it might be that Martian energy, which you might be feeling right now. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna see where we go from here. And lo and behold, within a week, I got my answer. And without them even seeing it, I came in and st striked back, right? And then I won. <laughs> but it wasn't about winning. It was just simply about like David and Goliath situation, right? 
And I said, not today, demons, not today, okay? I think you will know the right time about the situation, all right? Let's dive into your love reading here. If there was any courses that I'd recommend um, taking from my school, I would definitely say for some of you, you would benefit from learning tarot. You do have this really, and Saturn being down here, wanting to teach you, yeah, Midhaven. Maybe some of you have been thinking about learning tarot. Maybe some of you have been thinking about new ways to uh, create different revenue streams in your life. Um, and you're wondering, you know, can I start my own YouTube channel? Can I launch my own online tarot, spirituality business, whatever, whatever. Take my tarot certification if that feels like you, or if you've been wanting to learn tarot and astrology, tarot and colorology, all that jazz, okay? It's in the description box below. The amulet you got is the, uh, Aphrodite, which is all about self-love and loving yourself, having self-confidence, and therefore attracting love in your life. And interestingly enough, you got true love, new love, and honeymoon. So this thing that's coming up for you this week could very well be about you and your romantic partner and people who like to... Uh, put their noses in things where it don't belong. You know what I'm saying here? Somebody's trying to be like, oh, are you sure you want to date him or her? Okay, the stars in judgment. Yeah, like this is a connection that is faded between you two and you can't stop this. Nothing can stop this. Ten of swords, new love. Yeah, and I think for a long time, uh, Six of Pentacles and Honeymoon, for a long time, um, there was a lot of outside intervention. Um, I think from your, yeah, from this person's exes, almost like this person's ex couldn't accept that um, it was over. And so they were trying to stir the pot, which is kind of tacky, to be honest. I don't know if you're deciding to stay with this person or not, but what I do know is that this connection is very faded, very karmic connection between you two. And there's something happening this week where you're turning on and you're going like, look, I'm done participating in this drama. No, thank you, no more. Here is your monthly reading. If you want to work with me in any capacity or take any of my courses, it's in the description box below. Scorpio, remember you're a baddie. You deserve the best, all right? We will see you later, alligator. Peace out.